We're back. Bear bones. Yeah, about bear bones. The bear bones. Broadcasting. Huh? Doesn't it look pretty bare bone to you? My name is Norman Woodstock Spalding. I appear a fool. I are one. Huh? Born in 1945, what are you? A fool. Mm -hmm. Anywhere on the planet. The history of the globe to everyone born in 1945 has made you a complete idiot. How you doing? What was a wool pull over your eyes? <laughs> You look like a real, uh, what you say? High Plains, you look like you live in Largo. Ah, is this Largo? Because I'm as dumb as a citizen of Largo, that's for sure. I wish the drifter would come around and get things clarified around here so we can live with it. Big time. This is a radio broadcast. I'm a, Radio broadcaster stuck without a radio station. Oh, I've come to YouTube to share my craft and my skills. Hello. We should get over here the conversation between me and someone else. That's the best part. Oh, I'll, I'll bring you the best I can the conversation between me and someone else echoing in here. <clears throat> All right. There's a, I'm, Flashing through articles in yesterday's paper, if I may. Uh, program pairs homeless funds with congregations eager to help. That's the most exciting thing. Uh, article in the newspaper. It's grant driven. The part I don't like about it. This has to happen without grants. All over the planet. What you're doing is helping with hot air. There is no money. There is no grant source. That's not so. <clears throat> and you have more charity and generosity in your soul than anything to do with currency or could ever provide. One of that. And you have actually more volume there. It's the mindset keeping you from delivering that. And the grant got caught in between. You don't need it. One of that. I'll bet there's enough surplus laying around this planet right now untouched, put in the right hands. Oh, these ungrateful hands, yeah. These ungrateful hands might turn pretty grateful and you ain't got enough for them to do. What happens if all the ungrateful hands turn grateful here? What do you got going on? Got plans for grateful hands? I do. I'll put grateful hands to work in a hurry. Big time. You got grateful hands? Come here, Warren Norman sucks building. I got some chores for you. Grateful hands. That's for sure. You're the mindset of God. Hands of God. Human grateful hands. Mindset of God. Right here. Without it, there ain't no hands of God. You're not going to get the hand of God from a federal grant. Want to bet? You think that's the hand of God, a federal grant? You are a liar. You know better. Hand of God's generosity. And a human sweating to deliver it. Hand of God. Anything else? Deception of the hand of God. Do you understand me? The fact that these congregations have taken on homeless families, they're destitute, a homeless my eye. Is there such a place as homeless on this planet? That term is the most misleading term there is. That keeps people saying that stingy is okay. No, it ain't. No, your generosity is the only thing you understand and every word has to match it. So stop using the words, st allow stingy to be an alternative, an option, a choice. You have the choice of stingy here. No, you don't. You've grabbed a choice you do not have. Thank you for doing this for these people. I thought that is indeed exactly what churches do. That's what Christ sent them out two by two. Not to convince them where they're going to go after they die, what they can do for them now. Who cares where you are? Jesus is not an insurance policy for after death. No, no, no Jesus, not that. And anybody who delivers Jesus Christ as an insurance policy after death is a liar and does not understand Jesus, the gospel, the story of living, or anything about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pretty exciting to watch humans dig in and really just do what's normal. When normal happens, these terms living on the surface of this planet are not here. They are the absence of normal and the use of them worse. The terms are the absence of The use of these terms, now you, you don't know anything about living. You're fooling around with life. 
You wouldn't know life came up and bit you. Norman Sucks Balding, Bare Bones Broadcasting, thank you very much. Hello? What do you think what I just said? You're an idiot. Huh? So what? What's that got to do with it? Can you have anything to say about it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm sorry, my Hebrew language keeps popping out. 